Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 19th, 20th, and 21, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be using my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Angel Tarot cards for the main reading. We'll use, we'll pull one from the Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now I will do, I will pull one in the introduction from my Rider weight cards also, okay? Now, you know that I pray, meditate, and infuse all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, you know, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay, I am an intuitive channeler, so what that means is I open myself to higher power, and whatever the message is that comes through, it comes through. Yes, we have a full moon on this from the 18th into the 19th, early, early morning, 19th Eastern Standard Time. I talked about that in the introduction in our last um, reading, so please go back there. I uh, found out, and I did post in my, I did post under the community page in YouTube, my Instagram, and also on my Facebook, that there's some solar storms going on and something's supposed to happen around you know the 17th so we've got a lot of lot of energy the 17th 18th and 19th okay and then remember this energy is like you know when the moon is the 18th 19th when the moon is full and we've got this eclipse and all you know 90 percent talked about that we can really think about the energies going three days before and three days after so we've got really a six day period of strong intense energies add that solar um storm that's been going on and you know there's been a lot of that and something's supposed to hit, hit, hit with our um, electromagnet field force field however that is you know just expect things to be intense remember mars and scorpio you know things can be very very um i don't know very again i'm going to use the word intense I don't know about you, but I just felt very um, called to fill my tank up, my gas tank up in my car. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull one from my Rider Weight Cards, Rider Cards, Rider Weight Cards, and we're going to see just an overview of the um, energies. Okay, here we go. Okay, and also to uh, please remember, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell down there for notifications. I really appreciate you supporting my channel that way. And also too, thank you for the, thank you so much. Every so often I get this little, you know, PayPal thing that pops up and it's like, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so much for doing that. And you know who you are and I thank you. Anyway, um, now, after saying thank you so much, I may be a little late with my Sagittarius readings. Somebody in my family is having some surgery, so I have to be there. Okay, we will see how this is now. Let's see, one card. Stand firm with your money. This is the Four of Pentacles. Pentacles, this is, um, you know, our Earth energy. It's our Taurus energy which is, you know, the Taurus full moon. It's also our um, Capricorn, which we have a lot of Capricorn energy going on. And it's also our Virgo, money job energy. Now, this is that card that talks about reci reciprocity, give, receive, kind of like being a little bit careful with your money, maybe giving a little bit too much of your money. But, you know, fours, um, fours are leadership. It has organization. It also has some stability. So it's kind of like just, be, I, I'm just getting, just be careful with your money this weekend. Just, you know, that there's some money things going on. Maybe, you know, just watch your money. Watch your money. Watch your spending. Just be careful with your money, okay? It does not mean that money is going away. It does not mean that money's coming in. It just, again, I keep getting this, be careful with your money, okay? Okay. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and start our readings? Hello, my Cancers. How are you? Well, let's see what this weekend of such strong energies, and especially for my moon babies, what we have going on. Okay, let's, okay. Cards falling out. Not quite sure which one wanted to be first. So we'll just kind of uh, see what fits the story. Here we go. 
for my Cancers. Reversed. First card is Ace of Water. Aces. Aces. New beginnings. New starts. A Bay R1. Remember to, to you know copy down the numbers. Copy down the archangels if, should they come to visit. Aces are ones, new beginnings. Water is your energy, fluid, emotional, very committed type of energy. This is a new relationship. This is a new lease on life. This is something that's just really going to get you excited. So these new energies, these this full energy, this full moon energy is is, you know, it's kind of like you're charging your cell phone. Now I talk about when I talk about Reiki and what Reiki is, I say, you know, like you're the you're the, um, you know, the cell phone on the lower energy, and higher power is your hot, is your is your outlet. And that with Reiki, then you know the person that is doing Reiki or working Reiki with you is the cord. In this case, my cancers, you can be your own cord. And any and and really that is what Reiki is. It's reaching and it's 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 basically downloading the energies. And this weekend is going to have so much energies. You need to go out there. You need to open your purses, your wallets. You need to open your hearts. You need to all, you know, you need to open your thoughts and just go out there and just say, download the positive. Make sure it's the positive. It's the light, okay? Because you don't want to just say, I want to download because no, I want to download the positive, the light, the energy from the source, from source. I want all the good stuff because this is a really turning point type of energy for you for this weekend positively. Okay, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. New relationships with this. Here we go, next card, reversed, release. Okay, so this is kind of like, so this, okay, now remember I told you I wasn't sure which one this would have been? Release, this is a 13, so we have a 113. So one again, new beginnings. Ten is transitional energy. Three has a lot of creativity to it, a lot of power to it, a lot of celebration to it. This is Archangel Azrael. This is the um, this is actually in the traditional tarot. This is the death card. This means something has to end in order for something to begin. Okay, or in 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 this. Okay, so we have two ways of looking at this. Something begins, and because something begins, something ha- you know something you have to let go of. Some you know you have to end something. You have to release something. And remember, the full moon is the time to release, relinquish, and request. Release what's holding you back. Think of it as you know what's the what are the strings? What are the ropes holding you back? Relinquish what you don't need anymore. You know, get that garage cleared out. Get rid of your storage, and request all the good stuff in life. Okay, so with with the death card comes a new birth. So this could be, you know, that could be that, or it could even be that something ends for you and something begins. So one door closes, one door opens. Okay, so that has that has a real strong energy for you this weekend. And this, the Ace of Water, is you just jumping right into this new beginning. Okay, so Archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So there's a lot of moving on with both these energies. Now, this is the one I pulled, the Queen of Earth. So I would say then that we have the one, the one, one, three, or the one, you know, play with these numbers a little bit. But now we have the Queen of Earth. Queen's underlying energy is your energy, water energy. Earth energy is the pentacles that I talked about in the introduction, very solid home, money, job type of energy. The queen of earth likes a pretty place. The queen of earth wants stability. So you might be going from a phase of, of instability into a phase or into a, yeah, into a phase or situation of stability. You're coming, you know, you're coming into your own, you're, you know, I, if I, I would feel like, I feel like your base, your root chakra is coming into a brighter red it's coming into just, it's just being, um, it has more stability to it. It's just feeling, um, you know, just feeling very healthy and coming to, again, coming to that better place. Stability. And from stability comes the opportunity for growth, okay? Because you need to have your basic needs taken care of in order for you to develop into those, you know, the, there's the need to have and the nice to have. 
So the need to have is coming to its, you know, it's, it's getting ready, you know, it's getting stable. So now it's time for the nice to have. And the queen of earth loves the nice to haves, okay? So thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So really energy, really good stuff for you. This is like one of those turning point weekends again, but this is also, you know, giving you a, your, your foundation is getting firmer. It should feel firmer. And because of it, you're ready to leap. Okay, here we go. One last card. Okay. The Knight of Gabriel. So now, Knight's underlying energy is fire. Gabriel in itself is fire. Knights are directional. Knights are, you know, the Knight of Gabriel is passionate. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And again, passionate, very burning, very, very, um, you know, just, just going after what you want. Going after, kind of starting your fire, starting your life, starting, you know, you've been maybe on in pause mode for a while. Um, you know, you, you paused your program for a little bit of time, and now it's time to catch up. Now it's time to do a, um, you know, it, no more rewinds. No more rewinds. I'm getting kind of that meta TV metaphor. It's time for you to go fast forward a little bit. Get caught up. It's time for you to get to where you're playing, you know, where you're supposed to be. Okay? Okay. Now, the Knight of Gabriel is confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. And this, like I, you know, the moon babies, the full moon. Yeah, this should definitely, um, you know, be, you should know what you need. You, it, it should just kind of be, I know where I'm supposed to go. I know what I'm supposed to be. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Yeah, but that, that one, one, three, I do like that combination. And it's funny that you only have those numbers. Look with, you know, play with them because, if your if your release card was supposed to be there, it would have been a one three one. So look that up. Also three one one. Okay. So what crystal or energy for my cancers do we have here? Tiger's eye. Well, luck in new ventures, willpower, creative flow. Oh, this is good for you. Overcoming fear. And you know what? It's scary. Life is scary, but we we get through it, right? And you have gotten through so much, my cancers. Okay. Take a moment. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell, notifications. I really appreciate when you do that. As always, though, my Cancers, more importantly, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.